Welcome everybody to another round of Love Bite Bite Battle. We have Dave84 up against Pancelor. I have with me Aldroid to help me commentate. Hello Aldroid, welcome, welcome. Hello PS, good to be back. How, how, are, you, how are you looking forward to Dave84 versus Pancelor? Well, I remember both of them last year um, did a couple of rounds of uh, Bite Jam, so uh, it will be nice to see them head to head in in the battles. Uh, they're both very competent uh, Tikati programmers, and it will be exciting to see what they come up with. We have the countdown already started. So seven, six, five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one, one. and we're off coding. That was the keyword apparently is rainbow. Okay. That should be easy. Do you already have the palette for it and everything? <laughs> I, mean, I think we've seen rainbows already in this. So, uh... <laughs> good luck, uh, says Dave84. Good sportsmanship. Is this thing on? I think it is. You can start coding. Hey, Dave84 Dave is done. <laughs> <laughs> the rainbow is there. Yeah, the rainbow's there. What else could you possibly do? So uh, that's a good question. Aldroid, what kind of rainbow would you do? Well, the classic rainbow is obviously an arch. Um, you could do absolutely anything, any effects, provided it encompassed rainbow colors, really. Uh, you could do light diffraction simulation, but maybe not on a Tick 80. Uh, mm. <laughs> maybe do the, that cover from... Uh, from Oh, that tennis band, which I've, of Pink course, Floyd. forget the name right now. Pink Floyd. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, the the Pink Floyd album cover that that would be that would be a, a nice idea. I don't think I would be able to pull it off, but maybe one of the pros out there uh, could do it. What about you, people on the chat? Let us know what you would implement right now. Don't just say I would do a rainbow. You have to be specific. What kind of rainbow? Would you do the double rainbow all the way? Would you have a background as a forest or uh, well, what kind of lake? Like rainbow in a lake. That would uh, also be an interesting idea. So Dave I want to hear your comments. It's gone that. for very odd concepts of rainbows, I must say. Mm, it's Ooh. a plasma rainbow. Oh, those those famous those famous rainbows out there. I can see where he was going with that. I think we're missing some colors, though, to be like a proper uh, rainbow, though, aren't we? Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if anyone does anything with the the palette commands and writing into the palette memory. Mm -hmm. Let's see how that works out. The tick eighty uh, so palette is not that rainbowy by default, but it's yeah, it's but, very pleasant to look at, but not not the not the classic rainbow colors. I mean, Sweetie Sixteen does have. Uh, a huge variety of colors but i think the official well rainbow colors include all the colors obviously but you see some ranges more predominant in it and the order also somehow uh, matters which i'm not entirely sure if the tick 80 cd 16 uh represents that properly but then again i'm not a rainbow expert i just see it on the sky from time to time so uh i'm sure someone in the chat is correcting me for being completely wrong on this uh, nothing moving yet. Uh, I wanted to talk about uh, the competitors for a little while. So Dave84 started last year doing some uh, some uh, stuff. I think his first contact with the demo scene was at Love Bite, but he didn't do anything for that. Just saw the stream, and then he ended up participating at Love Bite Battlegrounds, I believe, and at Inertia uh, as well. Maybe it was Love Bite Battlegrounds that it was the round for the first time and submitted the first entry at the Inertia. I'm not sure anymore, but. Uh, is a newcomer to the whole demo scene extravaganza experience thing. Uh, very much welcome. We love seeing new blood on the demo scene, especially when they do noise like he just did on the on the screen right there. And uh, he's uh, slowly learning his way and uh, becoming a master. I'm also curious what entries he will submit to the uh, regular competitions at Love Bite as well. Looking forward to seeing those uh, as well. And in Pencilor, for Pencilor, I'm not very familiar with, with Pencilor. I think he comes from the Pico 8 uh, scene as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so he's one of those people who ended up connected 
to the demo scene because he does fantasy console stuff and the demo scene people kind of uh, asked him to 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 show up i think you organized some by champs where he participated aldroid yeah that's my first contact with pants law uh it's really nice to see some of the drift from you know the other uh coding fantasy console communities into the the love bike community into the size coding community uh, but yes i remember it was uh, one of the one of the many bike jams last year and uh, it really pulled out of the bag it was uh, quite impressive to see a newcomer just come in and drop some cool stuff and i think he dropped by on a second bike jam no preparation at all and you know, produced some great i think it was cubes 3d cubes and uh mm. yeah really really good talent to see and i'm gonna be looking forward to seeing what he's gonna come up with although at the moment it looks like he's doing a lot of copy and pasting yeah i think he was testing something and now he's gonna try to include it in a for loop let's see meanwhile dave 84 is experimenting with uh, some Adva advanced soaring. Yeah. No, it's not soar, it's like multiplying the X by the Y, I think. Or just a lot of weird signs. The fact does look familiar, but I'm not sure why. Pants floor is way above the limit, though. Uh, 300 bytes. You need to be down to 256, as we mentioned on the previous round, so you need to be careful about uh, those things. And early optimization is not the root of all evil in this particular uh, event. Uh, so we do highly recommend that you keep your code tidy, clean and small. I really like the Dave 84's plasma there. So. Yeah, he seems to be going for the, the plasma thing. It is rainbow color, so uh, I guess it works. It's impressive to see. It's got quite a good balance for a rainbow. Mm -hmm. I guess Pencil is trying to do the more original arcs of a rainbow. Uh, it's probably going to cut cut that in half or something like that. So both slightly different approaches to the same keyword. But uh, I mean, Rainbow is so wide open. You can do so much, so many things with it. It's really hard to put a finger on it. So really cool to see how people will vote. Uh, on this round in particular. I'm curious to see where Dave is going to take this uh, this Plasma next. I mean, Plasma is great, but once you've got Plasma, you know, you've got Plasma yeah. and, uh, it's, you know, what's he going to do with it for the rest of 17 minutes? Do some progression, maybe. That's probably one of the things that you could add at this point. Like if you have an effect, it looks good uh, and you have a lot of time, you can try to do a variant of the effect and then do some sort of transition between both of them. So you have multi-effects. Meanwhile, Pantslot seems to have reverted back to the, the default Tick-80 fight battle effect. I think Ooh. he's testing some stuff, like some motion stuff. I'm curious how he's going to work motion into the rainbow that he was drawing earlier. Mm -hmm. It all starts by uh, putting the variable of math in line to M. Oh, he's going to do arc tangent to to do the the circles instead of uh, drawing the actual circles. So you're gonna end up with a somehow of a plasma as well, and some. Oh, Ugh, that's a spiral, not a plasma. I, I was feeling that there might be a tunnel involved in that. Mm hmm. Arc tangent also very much used for tunnel effects.
So both of them doing some traditional 2D effects uh, overall, which is interesting to to see. Because Dick 80 promotes 2D a lot. Which is one of the charms that the the this actually has like you seem to go a bit back to the roots instead of doing the whole weird 3d environment stuff and then you have to apply shaders and figure out where normals are and then dealing with uh, arrays and constructs and then bindings and all that crap you you can focus down on just you know i have a buffer what can i throw at the buffer what kind of shapes can i do with it what can i how can i animate them so i, I think that's one of the big charms of the whole fantasy console scene uh, is is going back to those basics of early programming but doing it in a modern language instead of having to do it in assembler for the sake of speed Fourteen minutes and twenty-six seconds left on the clock. Still plenty of time for both of these contestants to do some major changes. Hansel is starting to look a bit more, more spirally in a, well, in a different mm -hmm. way, I guess. Um, it's nice to see something at this stage that isn't too set in stone, where it could be taken mm -hmm. quite a few different directions. Yeah. Definitely. I wonder if they're they're struggling with the prompts as well. Once you've got a rainbow, is that it? Are you done? <laughs> I like the trick that he's doing. He uses the poke to put the pixels on screen instead of doing a pix. So that way he saves uh, a for loop and having to like unwrap the X and the Y from that huge O variable. So he does. He's filling up the entire memory instead. That's really That's smart. Nice, yeah, it's a nice little trick. Dave 84 having some bugs there in his plasma, some continuity, continuity issues. It'd be quite interesting some if you could do something creative with that continuity though, and use it as you know reveal a shape with maybe within the plasma. Hmm. I think he just got bored with the plasma. Like, okay, I have a plasma for ten minutes now. Let's try something else. <laughs> So now he's going to the to the magic ATAN function. So they're now both going to be using the ATAN. Yeah. Yeah, uh, tunnel effect. <laughs> we do love a good tunnel here, I think. Yeah, I'm from Topol. I'm forced by law to to enjoy tunnel effect. It's <laughs> mandatory. Yeah, before you, they let you inside the group. You had to love tunnels, otherwise you would not be allowed. Ten minutes of mandatory tunnel enjoying every every day. <laughs> that would actually be a good, like. A test of merit that you can program some basic demo scene stuff, like make you go the tunnel effect before you join the demo group. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't go the tunnel effect, you're not worthy. There are so many effects I've still never learned to do. Uh, but a tunnel is one that I can do, so... I think I have relearned to do tunnel effects like three times in my life, because I just forget how the hell they're supposed to be done. <laughs> they're so good to know for for something like a bite battle though because just giving it that depth suddenly brings the whole the whole effect just becomes a lot more engaging straight away mm -hmm. so i think what dave 84 is trying to do is trying to apply the plasma to the the 
tunnel effect sort of thing, but it still has that discontinuity from the arc tangent. And this is where listening to your math teacher on the 12th grade would be important because I can't remember what the hell A10 continuities, what, the, what are the limits of those things? And I'm pretty sure that that's one of the things that we learned back on the, on the, on the late high school mathematics stuff. It's um, going to be a mouthful for the pie, isn't it? So. Uh, probably. I'm going to say maybe. Uh, I'm going to leave that for the channel <laughs> to decide. There must be a pro going. It's, it's, it's sitting in the chat right now. Who knows what's going on? <laughs> yeah. It's the benefits of live stream. That's why we live stream these events, so you people can help us out when we suck at math. But Pan's lore is way over the limit right now. He needs to be really careful with uh, 10 minutes left. He needs to start optimizing some stuff. Dave is under the limit with a comment in the top of his effect still. Yeah, so still room that's, for... That's looking quite nice, though. I know he, it's still got the, um, the artifacts in it, but I really like the way the colors move from one side to the other. Hmm. Ben's floor is so behind that it's in the red, not even not even uh, orange. It's red. Yeah, Pantsler's got quite a lot of work to to deal with. He's going we didn't to get, get it the memo science. that it's supposed to be 256 bytes. Oh, I wonder. It's all very nicely indented, though. I feel like he's got quite a lot of bytes that he can just pull straight out of there as soon as he feels like it. There's still eight minutes to go. Why worry? Mm. I see a lot of for loops and I see a lot of ifs. Okay, that can all go. Okay, so he's trying to integrate the original. No, he's not. He commented that out. There's a hotkey to comment multiple lines on Take 80. I never learned it. <laughs> do you know it, Aldroid? No. I do not know. Uh... Anyone in the chat, do you know? Let us know what's what's the hotkey to comment multiple lines. Because I've been doing some a lot of Dick 80 coding, and a lot of the times I felt the need to commentate multiple lines, and I always had to like do every single one of them by hand. And I always wondered like, ah, oh, there should be a hotkey for this. But of course I never bothered looking it up. Oh, Dave 84, look at that. Structure wow. of that is fantastic, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. a good use of rainbow as a prompt. I understand mm -hmm. where he was going with that. Just trying some stuff with it. Very interesting. I hope he manages to get rid of those discontinuities on the plasma, though, somehow, or just uh, make them part of the charm. It's more psychedelic than Rainbow, though. I haven't noticed the the discontinuities for a while yet. Well, it's not on the arc tan, but on the texture themselves. You you do have like a cut in the red. Those are the ones that I mean, that kind of, I mean, you can accept them into the effect as uh, design, but I sort of liked them when they were uh, smooth transitions as they were in the plasma itself. I think that's a hard thing about being, being a, a scene yourself is that you see all of the, the discontinuities mm. that maybe somebody else wouldn't notice. Oh, I do see what yeah. you mean. Yeah. Well, now it looks a lot more smoother, organic. It's, it's like a real trippy. trip. <laughs> yeah. Kids, don't do acid, okay? 
It's bad for you. It screws you up. This is sort of what it looks like, I've been told. Ooh. Oh, now that's is doing some interesting stuff as well, yeah. It reminds me of... Did you ever have that game, Simon? Which is... Uh, for I Paris. remember the name. Can you explain the, what, 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 what it's supposed to do? It, yeah, it was a, it was a game back in the the eighties, uh, a little electronic game which would show you a pattern, and it was shaped as a circle with four quadrants: um, yellow, uh-huh. yellow, green, red, and um, it just reminded me of that. And you know, obviously a circular structure, um, and you had to tap it in the right order. But that's mm-hmm. that's looking really nice. Pencil suddenly yeah. um, brought out. I don't know how long he's been working on this as a concept or whether he just changed direction stumbled. entirely with four minutes left on the clock. But, uh, I think he just stumbled upon it now by, by random chance. He's very below. I wonder if you got the memo that you're supposed to be below 256 bytes because it doesn't seem like he's caring about that at all. Is that there's a lot of comments. Maybe, yeah, maybe you can just delete all those comments and he's in. I, I would be, if I was doing this right now and I had four minutes to go and 500 bytes on the clock, I would be scared. Yeah. I would be terrified. <laughs> I would be deleting those comments. That's what I would be doing right now. It's a very, very crisp aesthetic. You don't often see something that's just so distinct and, you know, it's, it's just one shape looking looking pure and, and crisp mm-hmm. oh now it looks like a clock wow that definitely looks cool really got to size code it though Stop the he's using the XOR to, to do some I think the, the ampersand there is XOR is it XOR or is it an AND I'm not sure anymore it's one of those Exor is a carrot, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. So this is probably a nan. Looks really good. Gives it like this whole different texture vibe to it. I would like to see these two superimposed on each other. I think <laughs> having Pansel as a as an eye dent on the middle and then Dave's in the background, I think that would look really cool. Yeah. But we've got to have a winner. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> somebody's got to, somebody's got to win me, out of these two. Have you, have you been voting? Because you need to vote, update your votes. So we have these fancy charts that Super Row can show you. So update your vote throughout the round, even though only the final vote will matter. You get your vote key if you don't have one yet. You can ask any of the organizers. If they're not busy doing stuff, they will probably give you one. Either ask on Discord or on Twitch or on or by email. This got rather noisy on Dave's side. Where did the plasma go? Yeah, I don't see Panslor concerned at all with that huge red bar. Ah, now he's deleting stuff. Here we go. Only 10 bytes to go. You can do this. Just randomly delete random things. I delete this. I delete that. I think he's been toying with us the whole time. Just leaving exactly (laughs) 500 and... Well, (laughs) yeah, 500 and something bytes just sitting there ready to be deleted. Trying to do a background texture as well of some sort. Doesn't really have the bytes for that, but maybe something up top can also be deleted. <coughs> that excuse white me. space can go. There's a little bit of space to play with. One minute left. Oh. Dave is also doing some very interesting uh, variations on his uh, tunnel effect. You can get quite a lot of mileage out of a tunnel and some plasma, can't you? 
Yep. It's all about tweaking it and getting it. Getting it. Oh, looking. I like this background on Pencilor. Mm. That looked nice. But he's not happy. He's now in the green, though, which is doing my heart a lot of good. <laughs> yeah, he deleted whatever was on the top, and now he has plenty of space to do, figure out the background pattern that he wants for his uh, rainbow effect. Minimalistic rainbow, because he only uses four colors. Okay, so 30 seconds left. Last opportunity to tweak your effects. Uh, I like the other version better, Pencilor, but you do you. Whatever you think it's best. Oh, come on. Nah, okay. Stop oh, editing. No, 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 no. Oh! oh my god, is he going over? Oh, come on. Delete two characters somewhere. I think it's over. The the, oh, the timing no. is on. He's still changing. I'm not sure if there's like extra time or something that was given to him because of whatever reason. So either wow. he's not aware. Oh, they have extra, extra time. Okay. Oh, thank One goodness. minute, 30 something. <laughs> something must have happened that the organizers are probably going to mention on the chat right now. That gives us another one minute and 20 seconds to finish stuff up. And hopefully that will be enough for Pancelor to be uh, not in the red. Come on, Pancelor, I believe in you. Uh, so we did have the situations in the past where, like, a tick eighty crashed on one of the on one of the people, and so they they got uh, some extra time to compensate for for those things. Sometimes you type the wrong things and you make everything uh, go weird and you can't really stop the recording because you're already recording halfway. So you have to give extra time at the end to compensate a little bit. So I think this is the case, but I'll let Super Rogue and Havoc uh, tell you about it in the chat. Um, nice looking frag. It reminds me a lot of Limp Ninja colors by reasons, because they used to use the, the purple and black a lot, diagonal lines specifically. Okay, so that's his, that's Pencilor's effect. So, uh, Aldroid, any final words? Well, what, what did you think about these two effects and the road, the journey towards them? Oh, I'm I'm really happy that we were misled. Um, obviously, Pencilor has got a little bit more time, and um, I would have been heartbroken if we'd reached the end and he'd not been able to compete. But we can still vote for both of them, and that's a huge weight off my mind. I really like Dave's, I really like Pantelos, but for totally different reasons. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going to bias the audience by saying one way or the other, um, because I'd like to see them get a fair battle between the two. Yep. Fair enough, fair enough. So we'll leave the effects uh, playing for uh, a few more minutes for you people to judge and appreciate while we shut up. And uh, we'll see you back uh, whenever we are back. So bye-bye, everyone. Enjoy. Take care. Bye.